This is the Sky Station Gallery or Galaxy planet, uh, and this is the Storming the Sky Fleet star that you have to get on this world. Uh, so as you can see, when you choose the different objectives for each of these worlds, there's different layouts of enemies, sli slightly different layouts of uh, things you can pick up on the level, and different paths you can take. So each star that you choose is going to give you a uh, significantly different path to get the final objective, which is the star at the end of the level. Um, unlike um, Mario 64, where you could get basically all the stars, like all six stars on one level, on practically the same layout. Sometimes you'd have to choose a specific star to make like a certain character appear or a certain door to open, but uh, all the different stars have very different paths to go, the paths to follow. On, uh, on this game, which I actually liked a lot. It, I mean, despite the fact that this is the exact same level as before, it's very different looking, very different uh, path. So, uh, this is the first side-scrolling part of the game so far, which is one of my favorite parts of the game. <laughs> so avoid the electric balls going back and forth. If you want to get that one up, what you have to do is you jump on that platform and then hold uh, I believe it's the Z button, the trigger on the on the uh, dongle, the attachment, I forget what it's called. And then that will crouch and you can walk underneath that, uh, that little ledge. So for these question mark blocks, don't overthink this too much. All you have to do is touch every one without touching it a second time. I was the first time I played through it, I was trying to make some sort of musical note. I was trying I was like trying to make a song out of it and I thought I had to hit them in the right order. But all you have to do is just hit them once and don't hit them a second time. And it's not too hard to do because if you kinda the idea is is that you're not supposed to backtrack onto yourself and you're supposed to get them all in one smooth motion, but that's very easy to do because if you do kind of like snake into yourself and catch yourself in a corner, you can just jump to an open one. Now those little ghost Marios are some of the trickier guys. What they do is they follow your previous steps exactly and all you have to do is just keep moving. Just don't stop moving and you will avoid them. And avoid getting hit. Now what you gotta do is you have to spin kick this tree here and destroy the large piranha plant with all the spikes and the and the black and orange colored one. And he will drop a key that will unlock the star at the very end of the level. 